Hey, baby. You okay? Who, me? There's no one else in here. Yeah, I'm okay. Sorry. There's no need to apologize. You need to get some rest. I know. But I gotta make sure my grandma is done with her last bag of fluids. And then I'll get some rest. You're not gonna even last that long. You're nodding off every five seconds. I know. I've only had like an hour of sleep. And that's not good. You have to work tonight. That's a 12 hour shift. And the patient at the hospital needs you. I know, but I have to take care of family first. But I'll be fine. Look, I do the fluids for the bag and you get some rest. Are you sure? Yes, I'm very sure. Do you even know what to do? <laughs> Baby, I've been watching you do this for years. I think I'll manage. Thank you, man. <sighs> Hold up. You know what? I actually know somebody that can help around here. Who? She's a CNA, and she's very good at what she does. I can't afford to pay anybody right now. Look. She's free for the first week. Mm, that sounds very sketchy. I don't know. Look, she's very good at what she does, okay? She also takes care of her grandmother. Okay, she's very considerate. And she's very cheap. How much? And it's just $32 a day. Okay, <laughs> I guess that's not too bad. No, it's not. It's not at all. Okay. I guess then ask her to come by here tomorrow so I can so we can talk. Okay. I'm gonna give her a call later, okay? Now you go on to get you some rest. I'll talk to you later. Rest. Thank you. Hey, Samantha. Can you come by tomorrow? Hey, okay, can I? Um, yeah, I can come too. That's no problem. I'll send you the details. All right? Okay, sounds like a plan. All right. Skylar, this is Samantha. Samantha, this is Skylar. Well, hello. It's nice to meet you, Mrs. Skylar. I heard so much about you. Hello, Samantha. It's very nice to meet you also. Well, thank you very much. So, tell me a little bit about yourself. Oh, sure. Uh, well, I have about six years of experience in this field. Um, and it's something that runs in my family background, but, you know, I don't think they love it as much as I do. <laughs> well, that is good, because this is a very demanding field. Yes. Yes, it can be very demanding, but that's why you have to have a heart and a will to be able to handle this type of job. <laughs> you are definitely right. Yeah. You are. So, I mean, can you tell me a little bit about what your grandmother is dealing with? Well, she has musculoskeletal morbidities and dementia. You know what? I actually have a couple of patients that have that similar disease. Really? Well, that is amazing. So you'll know exactly what you're supposed to do with her? Yes, ma'am. I actually do. And I can start whenever you all need me to. Can you start tomorrow? Absolutely. Oh, and did Kenny tell you that I uh, don't charge for the first week? Yeah, that's unheard of. <laughs> It's because it is. You know what, you just have to understand that it's hard to have family members that deal with, you know, diseases, and you have to pay for it at the same time. I just want you to know that I understand. Truly a blessing. But hey, is there any paperwork or anything you all need me to sign? Oh. Yes, yes, yes. I have the paperwork right here. Right here. And you sign right here. And Skylar, you sign right here. You are so awesome, baby. You're always looking at me. I'm your man. That's what I do. <laughs> you guys are so sweet. All right. I get these, take the curve, and get them notarized. And that's pretty much it. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Awesome. Yes, ma'am. You want to go show me where your grandma is? Definitely. Come on. Come on. Right.
Hello? Well, don't you sound chipper today? I know. You know, I feel so much better. You know, Kenny is amazing. He found me some really good help. Oh, that was so nice of him. I know, and the woman is amazing. Her name is Samantha. That is such a beautiful name, but that name sounds oddly familiar. You know, I wouldn't know. I'm too preoccupied with other things. I hear you. Yeah, I feel really good. And my grandmother, she has been so rested lately. Oh my God. Oh my God, is everything okay? I know where I know that name. It was a CNA intentionally killing patients a while back. Oh my goodness, that's not good. Sky, there is no CNA by that name in our town. Do you think it's her? Oh no, she's way too nice. I think you need to look her up. That other person is probably in jail or something. You know what, you may be right. I don't see a release date, so that, that may not be her. I don't know though. Yeah, and besides, this is someone that Kenny found me, and I trust my man. That's good, but you can never be too careful these days. You know what? You're right. I'm gonna put a camera off in the room for safety measures just to make sure. Well, that's good. I'm really glad you're getting your rest, but I gotta go. I'll check up on you, okay? Thank you for calling and checking on me. I love you. I love you too. Bye. What's taking so long? This is a process that you cannot rush, Kenny. Why not? Do you not remember what happened last time? Obviously not. They found traces of poison in her blood. I gotta give her a smaller amount so it can be traced. Okay, man. So so how long is gonna how long is it gonna be? Honestly, it can take a couple of weeks, even a couple of months. I don't know. A couple of months? Man, we gotta get out of here. I know. Or we can just be patient and you can just sit still and we take the money and we leave. Look, I just want everything to go right for us this time. And it will. Like I said, you just gotta be patient, okay? Okay. What else? Okay. Go ahead and go. I got it from here. Okay. You are going to rest. Peacefully, real soon, literally. And guess what? Your money is going to bless us, Grandma. <laughs> I knew I that they were doing something going on. Lisa told me that. I gotta call the police. I have to call the police because she can kill my brain. Please send help. I have a video of somebody trying to hurt my grandmother. Please send help. So you wanna run the story down to us one more time? Yes, Skyler? I do. This lady, this nurse. I knew there was something very sketchy about mm -hmm. her. I think I have a picture of her. Wait a minute. They are here. He just texted me. Seriously? Yes. <laughs> That's them right there. Hey. That is them. Are you Kenny and Samantha? Uh, no. Please, uh, please. Go ahead and shut the door. Come in. Get against the wall. Yes. What is this he says, ma'am? Do as he says. Get against the wall, ma'am. Please, 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 please. But I already said I'm not. Please, please, the wall. So, man, you don't have to man, be Look. How did you all find me? I told you we should have made this quick. You shut up. This is your fault we're in this. But, Kenny, how could you? This couple has been doing this to people for years. They finally caught her, but she escaped. But now, we have them both. Man, look, let me go. Y'all got the wrong do person. Do not resist the I'm not resisting. Baby. Take these off of me. These are a little bit too tight, officer. And they're about to get tighter. But let me go. Say, man, you don't have to be that rough with her. <sighs> you know, my God, I know there are some evil people in this world, but you've been lying to me for two years. Did you sign some papers? Yes, I did. Oh, please find those. Okay. For those are those are the documents that they use to scam people out of their money. 
My gosh, can you just get them out of my house? I need to go meet my grandmother back at the hospital. They finally have her stable. Okay, certainly. We'll do that for you. Just make sure you lock up the time to leave, all right? Yes, I will. Thank you. Okay. Come on, let's go. Come on, baby. I love Man, you. Don't talk to her. Let's get this. Man, don't have time over. Don't Shout resist, ma'am. Hey, let's go. Don't let them take me. Go, let's go. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. The moral of the story is you just can't trust everyone. If you see a red flag, please follow your gut on it.